Hey, there they are. Ah, the condemned man. <coughs> Why did we have to come an hour early? Because Father Sierra said so. No, 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 no. It's part of a widespread insidious pattern of bridegroom abuse, you see. What did I just call him? The condemned man? That is the horriest cliche in the book. I mean, what else can we call him? The lucky stiff? As in corpse. <laughs> what do we call us? Sadists. Ah, oh, sadists. Oh, sure as I think. As in funeral, yeah. <clears throat> Look, we stick a, a carnation in his lapel... We lock him in a room for the longest hour of his life to contemplate his fate alone. And then we drink his wine. We dance with his woman. We make crude, lewd remarks about his sexual prowess. And then we offer him unnecessary appliances, kitchen appliances, which he'll never learn how to repair. <laughs> <laughs> Emasculation, that is the name of the game. Cruz, shall we see to our guests? There's nobody here, Mr. C. I know, I know. I want to take pictures of me and my daughters. Oh, Come on. Okay. See you later. Huh? You lucky stiff. Good luck, pal. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I'm experiencing cognitive dissonance. That means that I'm getting mixed signals. Oh, no, they're just razzing you. How are you feeling? Like I need a Scotch IV. Oh, now, wait, what, what good is that going to do you? Julia would call off the wedding. <laughs> Where's the life that late I led? Where is it now? Totally dead. So come to this reverting to Willie Nelson? That's Cole Porter. No, I was saying goodbye, Ted, to a life as I know it. To stockings. Well, I really never again see another woman wearing stockings and nothing else. Well, you could go back to school and become a doctor. Well, I never again awaken to see the sun rise through some gruesome pink haze in a dingy hotel room and wonder not how did I get there, but how much did I have to pay for it? Will I never again be able to say when asked my whereabouts, none of your business, bozo? <laughs> Will I have to shave? Huh? Will I have to tuck in my shirt? Wear clean underwear every day? Every day? Toast! <laughs> I used to like toast for dinner sometimes. Eight, ten slices at a sitting and I'd follow it with ice cream. Never before have I revealed that fact to another living soul, and now I fear it's a secret I may carry with me to my grave. Well, maybe Julia will go away on a business trip or something. You'd be alone then? Yeah. Waiting for her call. Where is she? Whom is she with? Is he uh, kinder than I am? Well, that's a foregone conclusion, isn't it? Better looking? Does he, uh, does he believe in animal rights? Does he, does he have a passionate belief that women should be allowed to wear pantsuits no matter how solemn the state occasion? Will he see her in her stockings and nothing else? Love, hell on earth, rock in a hard place. Feather of lead, bright smoke, cold fire, sick health, still waking sleep that is not what it is. Help me into some house, Benvolio, or I shall faint. God is great. God is good. God, help me! I'm in love. I bless the stones. I bless the parking lots. I bless the little creatures that creep and go splat. Sing hallelujah. I do believe in animal rights. I am worthy. Are we still alive or is this the afterlife? <laughs> no, no, no. A Porsche has to be driven. It has to be exercised. It has to be... Oh, well, if Cruz Castillo had watched the way you were driving, you would be exercising in a prison yard. Look, now we're the first ones here. Uh, maybe we have time to get married again. Uh, wouldn't that be uh, bigamy or something? I think it's a crime that you can only get married once. I think we should do it every five years. Ethan, Laura... Cece, gotcha. How are you doing? Good to see you. We got a confirmation. Leo is at a hotel in Mexico City at 2 o'clock this afternoon. It's a short reprieve, but it's enough for now. I 
Excuse me. What are you doing here? Oh, we just got that religious feeling, and uh, we were in the neighborhood, so we thought we'd stop by. There's nothing in the neighborhood but a couple of beers, pal. Eden, you look lovely. Sandra, this is a private ceremony. Your mother welcome to wait outside and congratulate Julia and Mason after the ceremony. Oh, come on now. What, are you going to kick your own brother-in-law out? I mean, I was at the rehearsal dinner. I just figured I'd be invited to the main event. You weren't invited then either. Cruz, if Rick would like to stay. Well, Rick is not going to ask. And if somebody wants to start a brawl, it won't be Rick. No other human being, man or woman, have I entrusted. Understanding intelligence, will, finding my heart. This I pledge you for the rest of my days. I'll never remember it. I'll never forget it. The most beautiful thing I ever heard. You didn't hear it. Well, I heard enough of it. To think I made it all possible. Who thinks that? I do. After all, I gave you the annulment. I guess I'd better keep this close by. You know how I always cry at weddings. No, you don't. You always want to get married at weddings. Mason, I did so want to come to give you away. Since I know this one will last forever. Gina. Gina, you know you're not invited. Although I knew Brandon wouldn't get any peace until he agreed to bring you along. Brandon couldn't come. He's got chicken pox. But don't worry, I've already had them. Along with almost everything else. Including you. Not the most affectionate recollection, but apt, I suppose. Well, Kelly asked me to leave, but I would so like to stay. Gina, Julia would kill me. I, I just want to watch. I, I promise I'll be good. Do you promise you'll sit in the back, on the far side, where she can't see you? I got a better idea. This way, Julia won't be missing a bridesmaid. Gina, where did you get that? Oh, I got it from Augusta's seamstress. Hardly cost me anything. Of course, it did need a little fixing. Gina, no, no, no. The bridesmaids are Julia's territory. Now, if you wanted to be one of the groomsmen, maybe I could do something about it. Well, I haven't got a tux. Besides, I know you'll change your mind when you see me in it. I promised your mother we would make him feel welcome. I didn't. Is it worth having a fight with him? Or me? Ah, oh, hey. Hi. You're great. You look like Mother Nature. <laughs> and I swore I'd never hit a kid of mine. <laughs> Okay. Something new? What's the matter? I think I'm having labor pains. It's the power of suggestion. You mean Lakin? Yeah, she's in the delivery room right now. Augusta just called. Don't worry. They say a slow first delivery is no problem. What about a slow first bridegroom? Father Sierra's isn't going to start until, until Mason is standing where he's supposed to be. No, he's not. Really. Hi. The universe, the cosmos... Earth, Jupiter, Saturn. It's all a minefield. Never forget that, and you will thrive and blossom and bear fruit. 